So let's say that this animator sphere is my character inside my heavy heavy scene and this character is also very heavy and this character is animated in some way, some way either with a morph target or an alembic cache or some other way. And on top of this character I have already created my groom and I exported this groom into an alembic file and using our Natrix importer I have imported the hair. Or alternatively I took my whole hair stock and I baked it down into baked hair object. I have assigned my sphere as the distribution surface and I'm previewing something like 10% inside the viewport. Of course, for the purpose of this video, I've only set the overall hair count to 1000, but in your scene you might as well have like thousands or millions or tens of millions of hairs, you know, it could be very complex. So, I've also unchecked the roots detached option, which means that the hairs are now grounded on top of my animated character. The problem is that if you have a very heavy scene and you open the scene, uh, especially if you're not doing grooming at the moment, this uh, the heavy hair might slow down the opening process or you know some other processes which you might have um, going on inside your scene. So to mitigate this, there are a few things we can do. First thing is we can set this viewport percentage to zero. So when we have zero percent view preview inside the viewport, our hair disappears and this is fine because we don't want to see it while we are working with our mesh or doing something else. However, if we were to render the hair, let me just do this by adding an uh, Ox Arnold modifier and then I'm just gonna hit quick render. You see that the hair is back and it is rendering at the 100%. If I save my scene and if, if I reload my scene, the hair still does not appear inside the viewport and in fact the hair is not even loaded from the alembic file at this point. Ornatrix will not load hair from an alembic file if you have this viewport percentage set to zero and this is evident by this label over here. You can see that the render count is zero and the viewport count is zero. So the actual loading process will take place when you render the scene and the hairs then are loaded from the alembic file and rendered just in time. This means that for example, if you send the scene to a render farm, the actual scene opening process will be super quick and then during the rendering this is when all your tens of millions of hairs on your character will be loaded. Also this means if the artist is modifying the scene, the opening process will be super quick because the alembic file will not be touched. So the second thing that we can do is we can uncheck this save to scene checkbox over here. When this checkbox is ticked on by default, the grounding information for the grounding settings will be saved with the scene which means that when you open the scene even if it's at a zero percent and you render the scene the grounding happens during the rendering and then when you save the scene all of the grounding information will be saved into your max file this is usually a good thing because it means that the grounding information is consistent and the roots are always going to be placed in the same place on your distribution mesh but it can be bad because it increases the size of your max file. So if you uncheck the save to scene option here, this information will only be stored in the RAM memory and it will never be saved to the max file itself, thus keeping your max file very light or at least as light as the other information is inside your scene. So these are just a couple of tips to do if you have heavy imported hair or heavy baked hair inside of your scenes and hopefully it will help you preserve some resources in very heavy situations inside your pipeline.